Welcome to Kids Place Kids at Home. This is where loving God is cool and kids rule. On this episode, we're going to learn about the armor of God, part three. Our big point is pick up the sword daily. And our big Bible point is Ephesians 6 and verse 17. And it says, take the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. Welcome to the Kids Place Kids at Home Kitchen. We have a really fun experiment for you. So you can watch this and then do the experiment or you can pause and do it with us. It's up to you. Now the first thing you're gonna do is you are going to go and grab a plate. Any plate that you want, but if it's glass, make sure you're super careful. Now once you have your plate, you're going to get some household pepper. You're going to get one third cup of water and don't forget about the dish soap. Now we're gonna show you what you need to do with it. So now that you've tried to put your finger in completely dirty, now I want you to take the dish soap, get your finger all soapy, and we're gonna put it in the water. Now this represents the sword of the spirit. When we put on the full armor of God, all of a sudden we see darkness flee. So we need to take up the sword of the spirit every single day to defeat the devil. Too cool. At the conclusion of this lesson, you will learn that God gives us the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. Number two, <laughs> we've been called to pick up the sword and fight our battles. And number three, we will begin to discover the word of God is for our everyday lives. So I like our friends here today. Yeah, it's kind of nice tradition. Now, I'm gonna ask all of our Kids Place Kids a question. Okay. How many of you on the count of three can name this movie? Mm -hmm. One, two, two, three. That's right, we all know this movie. Whoa, 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 whoa. Pretty cool. Now, in this famous movie, when the main characters pick up their swords, they actually save the day and you have been given the sword of the spirit, which we're to take up every single day, and that is the word of God. So we have to keep it sharp. Now, Pastor Jesse, what's interesting is that this piece of armor is actually a weapon. See, the armor of God, it is all about defense. It's about protecting you from something. But the sword of the spirit, it's offense. It's all about attack mode. We are told to use the sword of the Spirit against Satan's attacks. When the Bible tells us that the Word of God is like a sharp double-edged sword, it means serious business. A sharp sword can cut through just about anything, just like this lightsaber. And when we use the Bible as a sword, we are able to cut through some pretty tough stuff in life, you know? It's true. So Jesus is our perfect example of a master swordsman. He tells us in his word that when we pick up the sword, nothing is impossible. Hebrews 4 and verse 12 says, For the word of God is living and active, sharper than any double-edged sword. So the Bible, it's one serious weapon. We are going to make the sword of the spirit. This is really fun, really exciting, so I'm gonna explain a few things that you will need. Cardboard, a marker, pencil, a box cutter, and a straight edge of some sort. So what I did is I went ahead and traced out my sword. So I drew a straight line down my cardboard, whichever way that you want, you can make it however big or small you want, because we're gonna play with these when we're done. I drew a straight line and then I just traced 
with my pencil, using my imagination, making my sword however I see my Sword of the Spirit. So you can make it however you see your Sword of, sword of the Spirit. You can have some jagged pieces here on each side, make it really gnarly, but we're gonna decorate this here in just a little bit. Now, with your parents' help, we are going to cut out what you just drew on your cardboard. So now that you've cut out your cardboard swords, thank mm -hmm. you for doing that by the way. You're welcome. Now we are going to decorate them. Now this is where you can have some fun. Go around your house, find some random items. We have some markers, we have some crayons. I thought these straws were pretty cool. I don't mm. know how many of them yet, Me but neither. I see it. Uh, we have some string. You can use ribbon or I almost said ribbon. Ribbon. <laughs> ribbon or twine. Yeah. Whipping or twine, and then you can also use aluminum foil for the sword. So here we go. We just finished making our Sword of the Spirit. They turned out really awesome. I had fun. Really cool. I actually added the scripture first, Ephesians 6.17, got those straws in there. Very nice. Very, very nice. We want to see your swords. Make sure you tag us and put the pictures in the comment below. But it's very important for us to remember that God has given us the sword of the spirit. So, take up your sword daily. On God. Good job. <laughs>